Hello, the purpose of this video is to explain how a structural engineer or a structural draftsperson will, will start off um, structural drawings. So when the structural person receives your package, he or she would open it up and he would or she would find all of the necessary files for your uh, plans. So let's say preliminary site section were open. The structural person would have access to this one and he would actually um, modify your title block um, by putting in their um, firm's name or logo in this box over here. Um, so let's try to do that. So this is what we did. We found the logo over um, the internet, put in a fake address, and put the logo there. Um, he will leave everything as is, but uh, change the name um, of the sheet to an S number. So in this case, he probably will put in an S1 or an S2. Uh, of course, the drawing will be drawn by another person, so this will be this will be replaced by the name, uh, say ABC, and all the dates will be changed also as well. So we can just change it to zero three and then zero five twenty twenty three. There you go. Um, so, and what he's going to do is he's going to make all these drawings light, okay? Because if you preview this, these, these drawings are dark, all right? So what he, or the structural engineer will do is he will make this drawing slight, uh, because, um, these are not structural elements for his drawing. So um, he will do that using the layer command. So we're gonna go out and we are going to go to our layer. And all of these base sheets that we were doing over here, this one here, okay. He will actually change the color of all of those into something light. So normally he would have his own CTB file. Uh, so let's say 254 and you click OK and everything else is 254. So you can see here, everything went gray, okay? Um, and when we preview that, it will actually be gray, all right? It will not be black anymore. Um, he would also uh, remove all of the items that is not associated with um, structural engineer like this furnitures, uh, structural drawings. So he would remove these uh, furnitures by simply going again to layer and then finding anything that has a furniture on it. Okay, so we did do this for the cafe. We probably will delete this later, but let's focus first on the uh, floor plans. Okay, so this, this uh, furniture, you will freeze that, okay. Um, also on the um, first floor here, if there's any furniture here, you will also freeze that. All right. All right, so there you go. We close this and that's essentially what's going to happen. So everything will be turned gray uh, and uh, can hardly see it. Okay. Uh, now let's do a preview because I, I noticed something that the stairs are printing black. So depending on what uh that line type is or that i believe this uh is colored yellow or something we, we still need to fix that so this one is still black so something's wrong with that drawing and this one too is black so something's wrong with that drawing it may be on a, on a wrong layer okay um so that's something that that needs to happen uh at the same time he might also do a uh selecting all of the first floor and second floor and then um, assigning um, 
um, a CTB for a color of that thin. Okay, so 254 is really grayed out. Uh, let's do this using a page setup. And we're going to do and modify. Okay, and under here, we're going to click this. Um, and you know what? We're going to click Save As, and then we are going to do ACAD S for structural. Okay, and then we're going to go to ACAD, I mean, a 254. And on 254, uh, the line weight is 0.15. Uh, we're going to make it uh, maybe 0.1. Okay. And then the screening is 100%, dithering is on, uh, grayscale is on, use object color. I believe that's it. To close, uh, and then click uh, OK, close, and then we did that for A1. We'll close again. Okay. Uh, let's now try to check for preview. Um, and oh, he doesn't. The structure will also try to delete this um, the solid hatch. Okay, so if if um, there's a problem like this, uh, he would the structural engineer in charge would actually open the base the extra file, and the extra file is this base extra. I guess it's not open yet, so uh, he will go to the folder where everything is in, and open the Rev file, and he may also do it this way. He may uh, select everything and change it to that because it's not important to him. He's going to overlay something, so he may just do something like this, okay, and then uh, change its color to specifically 254. Okay, and then everything now is. Uh, um on that color he may also try to remove this hatch hatch hatches let's just do this on one file and we should do that The important thing is he that the this is all architectural elements, and when they're working with structural, they don't want any of this um, architectural elements to be part of their drawing, and so they want it all. Um, okay, and then simply save that, and then go back, and then. Um, Force these reload here. Okay, there you go. So now it's all grayed out. Okay, let's just do a preview again and check if there's anything that's black or dark. Nothing. So that's how they want it. Everything is basically um, grayed out. So you can do the same thing here. But um, yeah, that's what they want. And then once everything is in that order, they will now save this now and do a file save as, uh, and they're gonna save it probably on the same drawing or go just one folder above. Uh, I typically want to do that, and then they're just gonna put in a. Sometimes just add the letter S here, which means the structural. Okay, site ground is second. I click save. And that's it and they're going to now draw the structural um, elements on top of this drawing okay which we will do on our next video